guys, in today's episode, we will take you on a tour around the Shanghai Auto Show, where we will interview and present some of the most famous luxury car companies, including Maserati, Rolls Royce, and Lotus. Apart from hypercars, we will also show you some of the most innovative motorbikes and compass, as well as passenger cars like BMW and BYD. By the way, if you haven't watched our videos before, our names are Chelsea and Thomas, and we're here to share our adventures. From traveling and sports to learning and technology, if you don't want to miss any of our weekly videos, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Thank you. Hey Chelsea. Hello guys. So many people are lining up here. Definitely now we at Rolls Royce, and here the car model Spectre. It's the first debut in Asia. That's why it attracts so many people here. Look at it. I think that one in the middle. That one in the middle looks amazing. Oh wow! It's hard to capture it. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Chelsea. Hello, Thomas. Where We're are we now, now at the Bentley. Look at it. These are all the new models, and some of them are electric vehicle, and some of them are petrol cars. Hey, Chelsea. Hi there. Where now, are we now? We are now at Maserati, and we're lucky to have Clinter with us. Hi, Clinter. Hello. <laughs> Can you introduce us about the new models here? The first the engine is very special, right? It's the first time. It's a new type of engine. Is it fast? How fast can it be? Uh, the top speed is 320 kilometers. 320 yes. speed. And how much is this car? About uh, two, 2 million. 2 million. Uh, about. Uh, that means B. Okay, yeah. 2 yeah. million. Yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. And uh, we also. Uh, the, this is the petrol model, and we also have the full electric. Oh vehicle. wow! Can you show us the electric yeah. ones? What's the uh, difference in price between the petrol model and the electric uh, model? They are in the almost the same price. Almost the same price. Yes, but uh, the speed it, the, sp same. the speed is more faster than the petrol model. But how fast <laughs> is this car? It, uh, uh, I think 0 to 100 ki kilometer is 2.7. 2.7, yes, oh my god, fast. that's really fast. Yeah, yeah. So this is the first EV car of Maserati. Oh wow. Nice. And how fast is it in speed, in terms of speed? Top, top speed? Yes. The same 320. 320? Yes, yes. This is this MC20 is also first launch in Asia. In Asia? Yeah. It's the convertible model. Oh wow. Yeah. It's called... It's an electric vehicle, yes? It's also electric, yes? Yes. In, oh, wow. in Italy, it's called a cello. Cello. For the MC20 cello. Oh, wow. You can see the huge Maserati logo in the back. It's very, very awesome. Yes, I will <laughs> take a look. So, and uh, how fast is this car? Uh, 325. 25. Mm. And what's the acceleration from 0 to 100? Uh, 2.9. 2.9. Oh, wow. Yes. That's amazing. It's, it's faster than the petrol GT, and but it's slower than okay. the electric EV. Oh, wow. Uh, can you Do you know a little bit about the history of these cars? Or is there anything you can tell us? I know it's an Italian history. brand, yes? Uh, history is... Uh, uh, this is the replace of the MC12. Okay. You know MC12? MC12, I don't know. It's a hypercar in yes. the in the beginning of this century. It's a very special car. Special, very, very special car. It win many races. Okay. Yeah, so this is the replacement. The placement. We are waiting for it for about 20 years. 20 years. Okay. Amazing. It looks mm. beautiful. Yes. These cars are beautiful. Mm. What about the, what a, how much is this one? Uh, three, three point five million. Uh, yeah. RMB. Yeah, RMB. Yes. Yeah. Can I ask you another question like, Yes. How long does it take to charge this car? How long does it take to charge? Take to charge? Yes. About 20, 25 minutes. It's very fast. Very fast. Because it's used the 800 voltage 
technology. Okay. Yes. And what is the range? The range? How far can the cars go? Uh, Inch, I don't know. I know the kilometers, about 500 kilometers. 500 kilometers. Yes. Oh, wow. That's quite a lot. That's amazing. Yeah. What about the car at the back? This one looks amazing. Uh, Ghibli and the Levante. Levante. So you know the name about many years ago. Okay. Yeah. This, this is the Ghibli F222 edition. So you can see the special painting. Uh, with, with oh, wow. Hey, Chelsea, this car suits yes. you. You look beautiful. The painting, <laughs> the painting is very beautiful. Yeah, yeah. it is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And looks, uh, it looks very, it looks a little bit sporty, but it also looks a little bit uh, so normal, like for daily life, you know. Yes, yes. Yeah. Sure. Hey Chelsea! Hey, now we're at BMW. I think it was a BMW in the German, right? <laughs> the exhibition hall is uh, huge. Like BMW takes up half of the space, I think. Yes. Because BMW is a huge market in China. That's why they advertise here heavily, I believe. Hey Chelsea! Hey guys! Now we are BMW and in front of us is the BMW i7, the first global debut here in Shanghai Auto 2023. Let's check it out. Can you tell us a little bit about the Chelsea? I think it's from what I've heard, it is the most powerful electric vehicles BMW has produced to now. So that's why it's very special. And also this car is more luxurious. The interior side is more luxurious. And I have to say the color is quite fancy, you know, it's classic. And I like it. What do you think? I also like it. Hello guys, this is Chelsea and now we're at BMW. It's so exciting because now we're very fortunate to have Miss Olivia with us. Hello. Enchanté, sir. Enchanté. <laughs> Can you introduce a little bit about yourself? Yeah, my name is Olivier Petra. I'm in charge of the user interface and user experience design for all the concept cars at BMW. That's very cool. So can you tell us a little about the models here now? Yeah, sure. here's a Vision D. Um, it's a vision car, it's not a car we will build and uh, as you can see we have a really reduced design language because the focus on the car is really on the user experience. Uh, it's a free box design, typical proportion from BMW, but it's not a car we will build. So it's an electro car, electro uh, car. the size of a 3 series car, but the highlight is really in the inside of the car. You can see perhaps here the new head up display. Uh -huh. It's something that will be proposed to our customer in 2025. It's a, oh, okay. a new technology. That's this car is pretty the same one. Uh, we use the technology e ink. Ink. Uh, e ink. E ink. Uh, so digital ink. Digital e ink. Wow. Yeah. And uh, we have. Uh, uh, and you can change the color, right? You, you can change, change the color. So we have an app on an iPad. And you can choose which color you want to have, or an animation, and the car change in the real time. It's before. like a piano, my keyboard. Yeah, <laughs> a if bit. you want, yeah. <laughs> would be the next generation. Regeneration. It's amazing. Hey Chelsea. Hello guys. Where are we now? We're now at Lotus. Check it out. It's the 75th anniversary of the company. The company was established in uh, 1948. Yes, and I think it specialized in the high performance speed car. So, let's, cool. let's check it out. Thomas. 
tell us about what's what's new about this car. So this is uh, Lotus. Lotus is an established British company with 75 years of history, and they just released on their 75th anniversary the first electric car. And uh, there's a gentleman. His name is Scott. He is actually from England, from London, and he is Chinese is amazing. And he's just introducing the history of the car brand, how it happened, and it's very fascinating. Uh, we will post the uh, fragments of his speech later. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hello. Hello. Now I'm with Scott, right? Scott, yeah. Can you please tell us a little bit about yourself? So, uh, my name's Scott from uh, London in the UK. Same as you guys have been there. I'm really happy about that. <laughs> but today, I am the official butler, butler. for wow. Lotus. And today okay. we're at the and Shanghai Auto Show 2023. Yes. And my job today is to let everybody know that for 75 years, Lotus has been a world champion. That's right. And that the cars you can now buy and, and use yourself have the blood and the spirit of 75 years of racing. That's amazing. Let's, yes. let's start with Yes, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Okay, so this is where the story begins. Mark 1, 1948, Colin Chapman in his girlfriend's garage decided to take an Austin 7 and make it his own. He used this car, he made it in the garage and then he took his girlfriend on a really rough competition called English Trials and then they fell in love and they really got to become a strong partnership. And after this, and because of the fun they had on the motor racing and making the car, they got married. But also, most importantly, wow. they made the whole Lotus brand. Wow. Now the story of Lotus, the it's reason- It's a love story, huh? It's a love story. Um, the reason Very it's called romantic. Lotus, no one knows. And no one will ever know. It's a secret that they took to the grave. Okay. However, we do know that Lotus has been one of the most successful car teams in all of racing history, That's ever. Right. Biaddy is a really, really a big brand, a very famous brand in China, Chinese brand. And it's electric vehicle. It's really, really nice. I heard that Biaddy produces the. the I, I heard that Biaddy produces the world's best electrical vehicles, or one of the best. Hello guys. Hello, hello, hi. I'm very honored to have Miss Yuchana with me Thank here you. at the Shanghai Auto Exhibition. So Miss Yuchana, can you please introduce a little bit about yourself and your role in this company? So I'm uh, Luciano D'Ambrosio, coming from Italy. Uh, I am the owner of a company which is called LDA Design. LDA Design is a partner company of uh, Kalman, Kalman, for which uh, I am uh, uh, responsible as design director and uh, co-founder, let me say. Uh, the company is uh, established upon uh, the work that we started to make in 2015 to present in 2016 this uh, This is the project. first project here. Which it was is, a petrol car, right? It was a petrol car, yes, at the beginning, based uh, on a Ford F550 platform. Eventually, of course, uh, moved into electric because the world is asking for it, so we do it. But uh, we established uh, what we call a diamond uh, cut design diamond cut. through uh, the years uh, that became more and more popular. So the car was originally introduced in uh, Beijing, eventually to Las, um, uh, Dubai and eventually Las Vegas and uh, Los Angeles. Overwhelming success. What can we do with it? Uh, we can try to imagine a small family of products yes. in the SUV market, which we did and uh, yeah. we introduced today as a uh, T1, which is a, a more seater project, you know, like a 
let me call it a family uh, premium type vehicle, you know, very exclusive, where more people can sit. <laughs> Uh, Huawei is a very new technology company. We established our uh, in our in the electrical industry in 2016. And this one well, we are looking at is our latest product, Cementi Zero. is one of the uh, top performance scooter in the world with the max speed what, of... What's the engine size of the scooter? Uh, 70 kilowatts. Oh, yes, 70 kilowatts. Yes, yeah. It's pure electric and the top speed can go up to 200 kilometers per hour. Wow. Yes, and the uh, range uh, will be 300 kilometers. Oh, and wow. the acceleration will be 2.8 seconds from 0 to 100. Oh, so wow. the, all the technology is based on the technology we developed a uni chassis. It's an integration of the battery, the motor, engine and also the control system. So in order to do that, we have a very brand new design for the all the structure of this vehicle. So with the new design, it can have more capacity for the battery, better performance and longer range. Yes. May, may I ask you, so do you need to have a driver license uh, for the motorbike to drive it? Or? Oh, yes, yes, of yes. course. In Euro, it's categorized in L3E category. So you need to have a big uh, capacity of big cylinder motorcycle license to ride it. Wow. We are now at the Harley. Check it out. So the gentleman who just told us that this one is uh, in imported and it's more expensive. It's the yeah, the base is like 1.2 million and RMB. RMB and this Let's one and this one on the left is like 700,000 RMB. And here you can like cook and have a barbecue, put your stuff inside and you also add up space to put your things inside. Actually in this car, you, four people can live there, it's quite amazing. I don't know how to pronounce it in English, but it's called Changcheng in Chinese. Great World Model. Okay, it's Great World Model. <laughs> 
Hello guys! Now we're going to check out this trip, right? It's made by the Great War Company. Wow! It will wow. cost around half a million. This is for hey. the car of Great War Motors, yes? Yes, yes. Look at Actually, this car, the price is quite fair. It's only half a million RMB. RMB, yes, yes. yes. Look at that, I quite like this window, you know. And you can open up. it, I think. Yeah, you can open it. Lay down, see if the bed is comfortable. Oh, I want to sleep here now. Okay. <laughs> Right now, we are at Pavel. Hey, Chelsea! Follow the music, come! So here the brand is more like a customized business car so most of the companies will collaborate with the car brand and they customize especially business cars for them so you can see they are very luxurious and the design is also quite modern Hello guys! Hey guys! Thank you for staying with us till the end. That is for today. Yes, I hope you enjoyed this episode and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. This way you are motivating us and we promise you to create some amazing and fantastic interesting content. Please subscribe, hit the button yeah. below. Uh, you know, I cannot feel my legs anymore but we try to keep as energetic as we can for you guys so yes. please subscribe love you guys bye bye, bye, -bye.